Hello everybody, and to you, all of the amazing teachers out there all around the world, this is Camden, and it is Wednesday evening, September 11th, 2019. And we're just a few more months away from stepping in to the reality of 2020. So hope you're ready. Today's video. So, a lot of things have changed, or have they? You know, we had to deliver a TEFL certificate, which I think is a great thing because it puts us into more of a professional grade, right? A more professional league as online English teachers. And this is just basic requirement to have a TEFL certificate. But the big question is, Bachelor's degree, right? So are they going to be, as when I say they, are the online English teaching companies going to be required to have all online English teachers to have the basic requirement of a bachelor's degree? That's a great question. Nobody knows right now to be 100% exact. So you can sit and speculate and send messages to people, maybe freaking them out, making them worry, cause anxiety among many teachers. And I don't think that's the best way to go. What I'm going to offer in this video is just simply some things that you can do to take advantage of the opportunity that you have right now. And that is online teaching. It's not going anywhere right now. English language, number one language in the world. So more and more people are going to be learning English. Yes, the Chinese market is the biggest global market and it has the highest demand for English teachers and online English teachers, just in the population alone over 1.3 billion people. It's a lot of people. And over the years, I've been able to come really close to a lot of great people from China, from my students to the parents of the students that I teach. Also, you know, friends that I've met along the way and come into contact with and networking with and, you know, online. And it's been a great experience so far. And I truly hope that online English teaching will continue to be around for us. You know, there's a lot, like so many online teaching companies out there. And most people know like the top three, the top five, but you have to remember most of these online English, English teaching companies, they're not going to be around forever. You know, I spoke with someone who is from China, but now they've settled in the USA and you know, he was explaining to me that the competition is so fierce right now in China between the online teaching companies. You know, just think about it. We, I can't even send, nobody can send the Palfish application link on the Facebook or even in Facebook Messenger or Instagram. I had to take that off of my Instagram profile so that I could actually upload and continue to do hashtags. So that just gives you a piece of you know, that reality of how fierce the competition is. I love Palfish. I think and believe that Palfish is by far the best online teaching company. It's like a hassle-free situation where you have your mobile device, you're able to teach students each and every day, and the lessons are 25 to 30 minutes in length. And, you know, the lesson plans, the slides, everything is prepared and ready for you. And then when you finish the lesson, you do your feedback report and that's all you have to perform, you know, besides the in-class experience for the student. So what would happen? What would happen to you if the bachelor's degree does become a requirement? That's a question that, again, it might worry a lot of people, but I got a message for you. It's not a time to worry ever because worry is just going to make that worry bigger and bigger 
and I realized something amazing that I'm going to share with everybody today. When I was doing my six lessons in a row, when I was doing my six lessons in a row today, I knew the first three were going to be very challenging. Quiet students really have to get in there and help them just talk and answer incomplete sentences and to make it more conversation free talk, right? And not just slide, slide, slide. So when I got into that second lesson, a thought popped into my head and it's a thought that wasn't going to help me grow at all. So you know what I did is I said no to that thought and I refocused and centered my attention and said, you know what, I'm not gonna look at the timer at all right now. I'm not gonna think about the classes that are going to happen next. All I need to do right now is be here for this student because the parents paying me for the service to improve their English, right? And then I started to realize how much gratitude I have to be on Palfish and to actually have students who enjoy my classes and for them to book more lessons and come back. That's something to be very, very grateful for, especially in times like these when our hours are going to be cut quite significantly over a month, you know, over a month to month basis. It is going to be hundreds of dollars cut into our paycheck. So you've got to be preparing for the future, as I mentioned, two evenings ago. Okay, so again, the question is, what would you do of online English teaching was no more? You know, what would you do? You have to realize that nothing is forever. Change is always constantly in motion. And again, I hope that Palfish and the online teaching market can stay around for a very, very long time. You know, many decades, many years to come. But nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. So what you should do right now today is enjoy the moment. Enjoy the experience you have of picking up your phone or your iPad or your tablet or your smartphone, or whatever, your laptop, and you are making money at home. It's pretty amazing, right? You can make money on the road at a hotel with the proper background, lighting, and audio equipment, really easy tools. What would I do if there was no more online English teaching? What would I do? Well, I've been thinking about that a lot more lately because of all the changes. And a lot of things are happening in the world right now. A lot of changes. You know, there's so many things that have happened in the past two years internationally, and it's only going to pick up more and more. But that's why you have to be living in your purpose and to become more mindful. That's what happened to me. And I didn't allow my side of the brain to interfere with continuing to put out positive energy for my students. And I was able to recenter and refocus my attention. And I want you to understand that you are in control of your attitude. You are in control of your behavior and what you say and what you do. So the more you can slow down, do things that make you very happy. For me, going to the gym, going to walk in the mountains, going to play in the waterfall, going outside and taking care of the garden, just to name a few. I went fruit tree shopping today. Some people like to buy new shoes or buy new clothes. For me, I love to buy new fruit trees because I know in a few years, it's going to bring a lot of value back and a lot of pockets saved, a lot of money saved because I eat very naturally. So I'm using the land that I have available to me. It's being smart. It's being wise. It's security for the future, building a lifestyle of sufficiency and efficiency and effectiveness. You want to make sure that your life is being transmitted into as many people, as many students 
as you can right now. Why? Because everything is going digital. Everything is online. And it's only going to pick up more and more. So if you're looking to build leverage, if you're looking to gain momentum, then the only way to do that is by using the technology that is available to you at every single day. It doesn't matter what mark model your phone is. If you're watching this right now, you have capability that perhaps some people in some place of the world don't have access to. Don't waste it. Use your talent. Use your natural ability. I hope that I'm breaking through and inspiring someone right now. It could be you. So I'm going to leave everybody off with a few more thoughts right now. And, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you guys with that right there. I'm going to go eat my dinner right now. Go relax. Listen to the nature outside. Do some meditation. Come back in here into my room. Talk to my wife. Tell her how happy I am and why I'm happy. You know, when you continue to put out positive energy, and you know, I've really become more mindful the last three days, and I'm starting to realize that when you start to have some kind of negative thought kind of creep up on you, you that's that's when you live when you're living in your purpose and you have your vision and you're focused on your vision, those little negative thoughts are not gonna just it's not going to rub rub you. You know, it's not going to pull you back. It's just, you can use that as fuel. You can use those negative thoughts as motivation. You can use other people's criticism and negative comments, or whatever the case may be, as motivation, as fuel, as your fire. You know, don't allow yourself, don't stop yourself from having a good time just because someone commented on your, your picture or your video. Or someone didn't like you, you know, people didn't like your picture enough. We don't need to get wrapped up into how many likes we have, you know, how many people watch the video, how many followers and subscribers. All those are great. You know, those are titles. But what truly matters is the engagement that you're getting from people that you're interacting with. That's the crucial step right there. That's the crucial point where you can really make something with your life. So, you know, don't aim low, aim high. Aim high as you possibly can and dream bigger each and every day. And the more you start to talk to yourself, that's what I started doing last night as I was meditating and I finished it. And then as I'm looking out into the green grass and the coffee tree and the coconut tree right out here in the front yard, I started talking to myself in a positive way, in a way that I haven't done in so long. And I can't believe that for so long I had been living without mindfulness and without being in my body. You know what I mean? Because this thing right here can just go off all day, all night. And when you wake up in the morning, You know, and I'm not going to be a hypocrite either because I fall, I have fallen into that trap. Again, it's about how you talk to yourself. It's about the vocabulary you're using with yourself. And then that more vocabulary you use upon yourself, it's better, easier, and more believable when you speak it to other people. That's the magic. You don't need anything. Everything you need is inside yourself. You have enough power inside of you. So, you know, energy is like power. And power is like energy. So if you're using your power on things that you can't control, you're losing your power. You're giving it away. Instead of using your energy to better your life and those around you. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to people. It's free. Using our phones, uploading things on social media, it's a free 
process. I really wish more people could use the technology. Yesterday, last night really, Instagram, you can still catch out the live story. There's still a little, few more minutes left because it cuts off at 24 hours. But Jesse DC from Palfish had a great time. 45 minutes flew by and I'm like, wow, I love doing podcasting. I love doing live streaming. You know, that's what I'm talking about is when you're doing something that you love to do, time flies by and you're like, what? How can I get paid to do that for a living? You know, those are the kind of questions you should be asking yourself. The quality of your life is going to be determined by the quality of your questions. I'll never forget that when I heard that back in 2010 and it stuck with me for a, until this day. Hopefully it will stick with me for many more years. I'm feeling really great right now and I hope that you can get this positive energy I'm putting out because you deserve it. You deserve it. Don't let somebody else take away your shine. Don't let somebody else take away your glow and your happiness. You know, you don't owe anybody anything out there. Only thing you owe is something to yourself. And it's not selfish. It's called self-care and self-love. And I hope you have a great night. Take care of yourself. If you have any questions or any concerns, let me know below in the comment section. I appreciate it. Adios. Have a great night, everybody. Oh, yeah.